Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Bison's Aquarium. And uh, today we're going to introduce you to some new tank members. Uh, as everybody knows, I got the uh, 20 gallon tank that I had to get to transfer Jake and Charlie into when I had to do my floor. And, uh, well, now that I didn't need this tank for Jake and Charlie, and I've got them back in the, the 55 in the living room, uh, we went ahead today and got us two tank mates for the 20 gallon. And what I got is a blue dwarf grommy and another Placo, and that is a beautiful dwarf grommy. Beautiful. Look at the red on the tips of the tail or the fins. And I like the way he moves. He moves pretty, pretty confident. He, he acts like he's a badass. But he is a beautiful fish. And he was the only one in the tank at PetSmart that looked like that. And I said, that's just a unique looking fish. And then we've got the other one here. Now, I've got an idea for names for them. Uh, since that one's got a, a bunch of blue on him, I'm thinking... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking we're going to call him Blue. Well, I got to think, well, why don't we just call him Black? <laughs> yeah, I know. That just sounds kind of obvious, right? Blue and Black. So, we don't want to beat them Blue and Black, right? Or Black and Blue. So, I think that's what we're going to go with. I think we're going to go with blue and black. So, that's... Say hello to blue. And say hello to black. He's just hanging there. He's all tightened up. But once he moves, he's really sprawled out. But he's a little whiter than the other. Look at this. Let's come in over here and says, wait a minute. I want all the attention here. Yeah, he is beautiful. I like the way he turns like that. He bends his body like that. He's, he's quick. And he almost looks like an Oscar. But anyway, all right, let's go back out and I'm going to show you the changes that we've made to the um, to Jake and Charlie's tank. Now we've added an air bubble in this I like bubbles in my tanks and what I did I run the hose down in behind there kind of try to keep it hidden there ain't a whole lot I can do about hiding them very well but I can hide them for the most part a little bit and I ran it in that oh my god I'm yawning it's late it's uh, one o'clock in the morning I ran it through the hole there that goes all the way through. And what I wanted to do was put it all the way into where the bubbles came out of that side and this side. But when you got it further in there, it started making the bubbles bigger and bigger and bigger the further you got it in there. And it came out here and just a couple bubbles at a time come up and it was kind of aggravating. Look, they both went in the shot. Look at them. Look at this. Attention hogs is what they are. Yeah, 
anyway, uh, we added the bubbles, and I seen something today that was I thought was going to bother me. Apparently, it's not a big deal, and it will take care of itself the longer it stays in there. But if you notice, there is white right in behind there, right about right in there. And it's all over that log, and it's very slight. But if you take and wipe that log, you get a slime that comes off of it, a white slime. In fact, I'll just show you right here real quick. So, let's see how, let's see if he'll let me, nope, he ain't going to let me touch him. See here you got this slime. Well, it's going to make a liar out of me. See that white slime right there? Got that white slime. Well, I got to worrying about that, thinking that that was going to be a bad thing. But, according to youtube that's common and it's a problem that will take care of itself uh, they say that you can get shrimp to put in there and the shrimp will eat it but i have an oscar in there see that white slime right there floating around uh, so, ostrers love shrimp, so we can't put shrimp in there. Uh, you can put snails in there, but I'll be damned if I'm putting snails in my tank. I had snails in a tank one time, and I could not get rid of them. I had to empty the tank and start all over. Uh, I thought I'd never get rid of snails. It's like... They multiply like freaking rabbits, or at least they did when I uh, did my tank before. Um, anyway, uh, that rock kind of looks unstable. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's on this back piece back here. Okay, so it's on a three point. So it's got that point, this point, and that point. So it's pretty stable. At first, it looked like it was only on two places and up against the glass, but it's not. It looks like it's against the glass, but it's not. It's close. <laughs> uh, so... They say that the slime will take care of itself after, over time, so I'm just going to wait and let it take its course. Uh, plus, I think the Placo eats that white slime also. It's a fungus, so he's an algae eater, so he should eat it. Uh, he has been on that log a lot, so I think he's doing his job. Anyway, we will uh, end this. I just wanted to introduce you guys to, let me turn some light on here for you. I just wanted to introduce you guys to the... Uh, new fish that I got and uh, show you what I changed on this the, the bubbles are coming from a Danner air pump AP8 AP-8 uh, I'm not real impressed with it um, 
I have this valve right here, this gang valve, and that thing I think is a piece of crap. Uh, we're in the process of replacing this with a metal one, and I'm probably going to have to do some machining on the new one that is coming. So, uh, because it doesn't have a way to mount it, so we're probably going to take this mount and take all this off of it and mount the new one on it. And we're going to probably take and extend this hole and cut it a little wider. And we may just take this hole here and just go straight on across and make that a lot wider. I don't know yet. It depends. I might just go ahead and do a little bit wider here because when I go to put this in, as you notice, it's crimping it a little bit. So we need to make this longer so it doesn't crimp the, uh, or bend those cables or hoses. But I was wanting to put some shrimp in this thing, but because I have a shrimp eater, I can't, I can't put shrimp in it. But I do have another idea. Uh, I have had crawdads that I found in the river when I used to have my old Oscar, and they worked really well. Uh, now, I have seen my Oscar eat the crawdads, but the bigger ones he never messed with. In fact, um, the big ones are pretty aggressive, and uh, but he will eat them. So, we're going we're gonna to try to get us some crawdads tomorrow. I'm going to go down to the creek here and see if we can't find some crawdads to put in my tank. Uh, have to find me a good location. That is if I can handle the smell of this freaking creek. Uh, this creek that we live next to, it's its just a nasty smelling creek. It's just trashy. I'm surprised that, I'll be surprised if we don't find five-headed freaking crawdads in it. <laughs> anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, show and tell. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, you guys have a good one. Later.